Five squirrels come in a variety of patterns and hues, but size alone tells you that this is no run-of-the-mill gray squirrel. Kate Amspacker is a wildlife biologist who studies fox squirrels right here in the Lowcountry, Country, and she's agreed to let us tag along. Kate, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for coming out. So these are really charismatic little animals for sure, but, but why do you study them? Well, they're, they're a species of conservation concern at this point. Um, they're not federally listed or protected in any way yet, but their populations are declining throughout their range. So it, it's a species that we want to get ahead on and, and make sure we're keeping them around for years to come. You know, I've heard these guys called uh, monkey squirrels and cat squirrels and all kinds of things, but this is a native species, right? Right, right. So Kate, tell us a little bit about the studies you're, you're doing here. Okay, well, my study is a cooperative project between Marshall University, uh, where I'm studying in the biology department, um, Nemours Wildlife Foundation and Paris Island in, in the Marine Corps. The main part of my study is a translocation. Um, so I am catching squirrels here on Nemours Plantation and a few other plantations here in the Low Country and actually moving them to Paris Island to establish a population. So there aren't squirrels there, but it is really, it's good habitat. They have gray squirrels there, but they don't have fox squirrels there, but they're a suitable habitat for the fox squirrels. And so there'd be, be enough there. to eat. And... Yes, yep. So Kate, tell us a little bit about the natural history of this squirrel. They normally live, we think, about eight to 10 years in the wild. They have typically one litter a year, uh, about two and a half pups on average. So they live a pretty long time for being such a small rodent, um, and they don't really have that many babies compared to what we see in some of the other squirrels and mice and rabbits and things like that. Um, so they have a pretty long life history there, and that is part of the reason why it's such an issue when we start losing them, it's hard to get them back because they don't reproduce and bounce back very quickly. They like areas like this, this pine so savanna. So this is great habitat. And yes, This is yes. what I think of when I think of fox squirrels. Right, for sure. exactly. They are specialists in this type of habitat. They like these nice open areas, not too many trees. They spend a lot of time on the ground foraging um, mushrooms, insects, pine cones, acorns, hickory nuts. They're, they're not too terribly picky. It really depends on the season and what's available. So Kate, I see fox squirrels in some areas, but they're not everywhere, are they? Right. Um, so historically, they would have been in a lot more areas, but as we have more and more human interaction with buildings and roads and things like that, that's really limited some of their habitat availability. And so this particular subspecies is, is pretty much just here in the Carolinas along the coast um, with the longleaf pine ecosystem. Because they're found in, in such sparse populations, not a whole bunch of them in one area, you don't really have any predators that really specialize on fox squirrels. Pretty much anything that is gonna eat smaller rodents would take a fox squirrel if, if they get the chance to. 